Yeah, Roy's looking to be this first point of contact. And I mean, if you were thinking of like an ideal sort of range for the dual Berettas, maybe this is it. 30 bullets locked, loaded, ready to go. But are they going to hit their mark? That's the big question. We're about to find out. Perfect. Nika Doz breaks the silence first. And that's only sold them down the river into the dualies. But just one kill. And now Nika Doz has got to hold the line alone. Yeah, he's tucked into the site. They saw him in grave. Now he's putting them in boxes. Second kill from Nika Doz, and he's just dueling, dancing, dodging death as Axar tries oh. to find this kill. Nika Doz with a P2K sends him to bed. It's Napani on the flank up long side, but he's going to get hounded down. And Nika Doz with four kills in the pistol puts Fnatic on the right foot forward first. Yeah, Nika Doz turns back off the flash. He does get a kill, sets up Roy for the second, and the bomb's actually been dropped as well. Roy just getting wiggled on, needs to finish a kill. Crims just about hops his way into the site. It's a smooth move, but that Molly is very close, might tickle his toes. Crims is getting hot in the site. They're chasing him down. Crims still gets that Wait, kill. Wall banged by Axile through the side. That's a great spam, but he's still going to get chased as Vasha was fast off of the flank, and Fnatic find a third already, looking pretty explosive. Explosive off an attic chasing Cloud9. Let's see if he can do it. Yeah, Molly first. He can fire through, but maybe he wants to reposition the coffins. That smoke will fade first. It's actually on the wall. Mezzi looking just up over it. Catches that bomb, goes tumbling in. And in fact, this smoke might give Mezzi a favor. He can hold that headshot angle. The orb covers the cross in. Good flick. Nikodos finds it, even though he gets dinked. And while they are wrapping spawn, Nikodos is already dead. Mezzi might be cognizant of this play. 30 seconds, and where can Intel's really be? Mezzi. Yeah, now he's low on time. Now these rotates are right here. The Barbarians are at the gate. Inters just tucking himself away. Wins that first fight. Roy's out of the oh. round. And so is Crims. Inters wins the clutch. And Cloud9 on the ball with their first. There's the X Factor. There's the Cloud9 we know and love, right? Showing up in a... The rest follows in tow. Boosts up. Fnatic. Setting up the Astralis 2.0, perhaps. I do like this boost, but as soon as you see it on C9, you just leave. Or you go hunting for the kills, but you at least send the bomb elsewhere. They're still in their early default, in no hurry to commit. Nade stack, perhaps, into CT spawn. C9 are fine with that. Or Fnatic, rather. And it is going to be an exec, but will C9 commit? Probably just going to be mopping up kills if they can. Full flying oh. running in. It's oh a tower of death. God. Two kills, oh make it three. God. Bomb is loose. They're running. They're gunning. But these rifles will still survive. Two on two. This is where normality should take over. Can they get that bomb and get out? Do they even want to give them the chance to pick up those guns? No. Crimson going through the what? smoke. Turn the wrong what? way. What? And Nika Straight does will bullet. close. That is crazy. A tower defense there from Fnatic. Hey, guys. Make sure to check out Cisco Fast, the oldest website in the industry. Cisco Fast has many cool price raffles, daily bonuses and gifts for regular users. Their website has the biggest variety of different modes, including PvP modes such as Classic where you try to play versus other players or PvE modes such as X50, Poggy, Crash and many other, including my favorite game Tower where you try to climb to the top and the higher you get, the higher is the reward. Here as an example, with just $5 I managed to get all the way up and got 200 $12 as the reward. So guys, if you want to play on CSGO fast, don't forget to use my code VLADO to get $1 for free on your balance. Link to CSGO fast will be in description below. Crims up on the balcony, they waltz right into him and he even plays inside of the smoke. Hobbit's right there, but Crims goes back for more double trouble as Roy swings as well. And this team play from Fnatic is excellent, trading each other out as they close another round. Cloud9 cannot get their foot in the door without it getting slammed shut. Mezzi's heard the footsteps. They know they're passed on long now. Oh. He's rerouting into the library to help out. Time. And unless an open is found soon, this is a non-starter. This round goes nowhere quickly. Hobbit does get one on the wrap. With the bomb only just coming up short. If it falls now, that's a done deal. And Shiro does what he can, but it's not enough. Fnatic onto seven. Again, dude, just set up with doubles and Fnatic. 
Crashes over, smokes first, and Mezzi picks a safer angle to buy a few more seconds. That volley's helpful. They're going to tick in it. They've got to cross anyway. Hobbit needs to jump up from the pit. You talk iconic positions. This is one of them. Hobbit finds the headshot. Nika does. Can he stop that bomb? He's going to try, giving away the orb's position and getting nothing for it. Hobbit could even run through this smoke. He's poised right now in front of it. Nika does doesn't know. Okay, Nikodos, you ready for this? You ready for how close Hobbit is? He's waiting right here, trying to get the info, oh. trying to paint the shots, but Hobbit wins the fight, and now Crims, no way back into this yeah. one. Shiro's got his number, holds for that swing out banana, and Cloud9 finally pieced together a second round. You get Shiro in that post plant with the orb, you have him just holding a safe line like that, and he's a very safe pair of hands indeed. And that's inevitable on a B hit. Fasher, you know, I'm, if he wants, he can go into the right corner with this smoke of quad and look underneath it. We'll see what they do. Messi drops the smoke to fight above it. Quick kill onto Axel, and one by one, they're dripping dry. Oh, Messi even more. Oh. Oh, there we are. Three kills from the man over the top of the one way. He's giving them a one way ticket out of the round. They seemed aware as to what was happening there. And they even wanted to remove this orb right at the very end. Yeah. Thankfully, Shiro holds on to it. Nothing wrong with hunting for that at this point of the game. Fnatic, no, with only... Yeah, you will have a flash to clear, surely. They try and do it dry. Oh, oh no. no, that's just going to feed this little stack. Still no flash to go in. Finally, it's there. Oh, if only. And a nice little one-two punch. Make that first contact dry. Get an idea as to the full extent of the problem. And then they flash the double setup. Fnatic now having a retake, a man down. Nikodos and Crims moving over, but Shiro is quick. He's faster than they're ready for, and that might force a save out of Fnatic. Because Fnatic don't have loss bonus. Got to keep in mind, they finally got broken. They instead just wanted to go for the 11-4, guaranteed. They believe in this investment, so let's see if they can stick the landing. I it's like another this. apartments yeah. play, yeah. going back to it again. It worked last time. Is it going to land this time around, though? Ooh. Roy and Crims doing damage, but the trades are there, and yeah. Nikodos dies trying to come through that moto smoke. Man, advantage resides with Cloud9, and they're going to have that plant going their way. Yeah, lovely realization for Cloud9. That's the best way to get rid of those pit setups as well, just completely blinded from that mid player who's lobbing over utility and Shiro's even poised to close this round as well. It's all on Fasher on the flank. Easy shot for Shiro and now through the smoke. Mezzi in a one on three. C9, it took them time, but they may have finally broken through at the end of the half. And a five round half might just be enough to pull this comeback. Instead, will Fnatic keep the good times rolling? That's what we're about to find out just after the break. They do not even have the range for these fights. This app's probably dead. Good luck. You've got a UMP falling into the pit. Bit of cover, but they can just drop in your head. Stop oh, the fire no. away as they double up. One man in the sight. Not long for this round, but that's, okay, the, bomb. that's the bomb. With 20 seconds, Fasho uh -oh. on one. This is getting weird. This is getting uncomfortable. Roy will try and bail them out, but Nafani still has that package available. 15 seconds. He Nafani. doesn't know. He has the bomb. Two kills right in front of him, but Nikodos saves the day. Fasha was just cowering in the corner, did not want to give a fight away there. And one by one, Fnatic realizing this round is a little bit harder than they made out. Crims will find Nafani, but as long as no one overfaces, c still have that bomb at their feet. Yeah, this, this should be a very safe space to be in. Fnatic are able to turn it around. It's all to their credit. Cloud9. Very much favored. These crossfires are brutal. How on earth do you get past them? Well, the answer yeah. is you don't. Melted on the short side and having to slow down and wait for that util to fade. Because of a big defensive round. Oh, they want to spray nets too, but blinded is Nafani. Tech Nine's running him up and line up as well. Nafani with three kills. Blinded doesn't matter at all. Cloud9 find eight. Even that's cool. You know, we're refreshing Sprout now, but we'll visit that in just a moment. Hobbit taking swings down Banana and the nade well timed. It's a good little wombo combo there. Nikodos lies in wait and a flash Ooh. to try and send them round. Ouch. They will trade out for the top B fight. Shiro trying to back it up, trying to get out of there. Keeps this in the advantage of Cloud9. A 3v2. Shiro is hunting, looking for more, and as Mezzi looks down to fall off the box silently, Shiro strikes, bomb loose, 
He doesn't know Crims actually made it past this angle, but picking up the bomb. Oh, that gives it away. Shiro now knows, and he hits the shot as well. Crims picks up that bomb on the sneak, and with Shiro seeing it disappear from the ground on early XX, I want to see if they do that in the next gun round. For now, it's just Deegs running it dry into oh, B. They hit no, the headshot, hello. and this tower can come tr uh, uh, come trumbling, trumbling, crumbling down. Yeah, Nafani back of the site, right? That AWP removed. Shiro, as we say, he's not missed a beat, so taking him out, that could be the turning point. Nafani's giving them a bit of a run for their money, though. Still lighting them up from behind quad. Nikodos has snuck by, but <laughs> Hobbit's a little smarter, and he will go looking for it. Double digit secured. Cloud9, are they really back in this thing? I can't believe it. Crim's herd running away. They just know. Cloud9 can move everyone towards uh, B if they want. Inters can hang around for a lurker, but there's no one of the sort. This is a four-man B stack with a flank. If Fnatic win this, I will be shook. Yeah, they shouldn't know. Hobbit's opened up. Ooh. All right, Nafani did get stuck. And Shiro, oh, he's burning. Yeah. And in the open, having a swing oh. for this. Swing and win. He's in with all the kills. My goodness, the molly pushes him out into the open. You think he's done for. You think he's toast. But able to cock that orc bolt back and fire off a second time. And Fnatic are wondering, how the hell did they know? How the hell are they four strong B with flashes on rotation with three in the site? How do they know we defaulted A the entire time? They never saw us. They never saw us, but Cloud9 saw you. You just didn't know. 11 rounds. Fnatic throw a smoke, but he pushes through and he actually misses his shot. Okay. Okay. Now he needs to rely Legs on his on team. Now. They've been pretty quiet today. Shiro's been the star of the show, but Nafani comes through Ooh. and Hobbit through the smoke. He's dead as well. Nafani needs every single kill and he's given us the, the lot. 12 rounds to Cloud9. They are still in this match, whether you like it or not. Here's the footsteps. They're moving in. Shiro oh. blocked off, but takes one with him. Fasha knocked out of the round and now he's repositioning. Calling for these rotates, Cloud9 really taking their time on this one as they group over in top mid. Shiro is solely responsible for B. Just gotta live. Buy time. Come in late in the round. They aren't even planting. They're terrified. This is insane, man. It's just Shiro. Like one guy is putting this plan. much fear. They You've got 10 seconds, bro. You've got to get this down. Messi finally plugs oh. in the numbers, but it's not good. Shiro with another. And Nikodos back of the site from the pillar in the 1v4. Needs oh, to come boy. up big, and he can't find a thing. Cloud9 onto 13. It's hide and go seek Shiro edition right now. They are just magnet towards him. But no one's budging. Cloud9 are adamant that this it's is happening. the A play. They are adamant that finally, after all these B rounds, this bomb's coming A. They've got Shiro here on the AWP. They've got four players in tow. Fnatic out into the top of mid and into the waiting guns. Hobbit with oh, the first. Oh, the Nikodos on an equalizer. Oh, and maybe. Roy finds another. Suddenly, Fnatic, Shiro. they've got a way in. Shiro here. This is the fly in the ointment. This is oh. the big guy oh. in the sky. Him and oh, Inter no. side by side. Light them up. And that's 14 all. I cannot believe it. This is un unreal. Absolutely unreal. No words. Roy holds on. Do they quickly avoid the orb? If they wanted to, that's already lost. The smoke in middle cuts them out. They're going to pop through, try and beat Shiro to the punch, but they line up. Axel get to frag. Oh. It's going to be Roy dropping a gun for his teammates, but they're not going up the long side. They're committing on short. Everything has a lot of doubt behind it. Everything has a lot of doubt behind it. But right now, Inters is the only guy inside of A. Tucked yeah. down in the pit. They don't know about him. He's waiting. And ah. now he rears his head. Doesn't play his cards yet. Instead, waits for Nafani to join him. And this is just Crims left. Back of the site. Tech nine and a dream. But Nafani's the dream catcher as he snatched that round away. 15 for Cloud9. Map point from a 14-5 scoreline to Fnatic. Fnatic will have to run and execute. This is it, do or die, all or nothing. This is for it all. Nafani oh, fully blind. Shiro now more oh, than no. ever. We need him oh, and no. he is spammed out. Shiro is gone. A oh, new hero oh. has to emerge. Hobbit doing damage. And the plant still found. And now Cloud9, a gone. moment to compose, oh, a moment to slow down. Hobbit's had to rearm himself and his teammates are making their way over. Post plant orb. Man up for Fnatic. No one moving a muscle.
Nikodos scoped in, waiting for a boost. It's never going to materialize. Hobbit has dealt with Crims. Nikodos still fighting for yep. this. Nails the shot. Put the AWP in the post plot and let that baby sing. Nikodos oh. with a double. And that's more like yeah. it, baby. Three in the round. And we're going to overtime. Teammates here to back him up every step of the way. And Nika Doz offers himself up on a silver platter. You'll take that all day long, Cloud9. Axel, he even wants Hello. his fill. And he's good for one of his own. A 4v2 out of the gate. Banana control is taken away. And Mezzi, okay. nice with blated breath, has at least dealt with this aggro down the banana. And maybe, just maybe, that gives Fnatic a way back in. Doesn't give anything up early, man. And this one, yeah, that's a freebie. Good no for the one and done. And that's already time running out. Roy, if he tries to no. put the numbers in, he's he a dead man. So he's caught fighting, trying to win a round. It's already uh, slipped by the wayside. I think Shiro is even going to close it. I think that was his first missed shot all game, to be honest. And it didn't even matter, did it? In regulation, they also don't want to risk it. But when you have that freedom, that little breath of fresh air, you can throw yourself into the fight. Oh. In fact, it will let them down this time. Napani. Dude, how wild is this? We're in a world where two kills, two B entries, still leave it hanging in the balance as to whether or not you're going to get in a B. And it's oh. all because of this guy. Oh, it's all because of Shiro. He's got Tries nice. his hand at the hero play, but now backs off. Now Alex to wait for that bomb to get involved. And for his teammates to rotate over, Axar waits oh in the CT smoke. Shots might be rallying past him. Oh, no tags yet. I thought Axar was... still thinks he can make a play. Yeah, he's waiting for the flash. Inter's lobbing it over now. They're going to go for it together. Jumping through the pool. And he finds that kill as well. Fasha back of the site trading. Seconds remaining, and they're just looking for kills at this point. Fnatic have broken through with yet another round, but it's not going to be enough. Still looking for two on the T side, really. Everyone dies at the end. Shiro won't give them the satisfaction. And Fnatic finally, they walk through this one. Should be able to get a trade at bare minimum, but he gives it up. He's stuck on the wall. Oh, team kill. Disaster strikes at the worst of times. And that molly even slows Fnatic down. They can't edge their way back in. Shiro wants it all. He wants every kill and he's going to get them 36 deep. Doesn't matter what gun he has. Doesn't matter if he can open his damn eyes. Or else they might not get another chance. Oh. Into the apartments they go. Roy gets that spot and gets out like a light. A 4v4 found. Cloud9 grouping. Do you remember how regulation ended? How that first half came to a close? It was with the app oh. drops. It was these pushes into the A site through the apartments. Can that save Cloud9 now in OT? Because they're losing HP. They're losing players. They're out with two, and Nikodos in the smoke alongside them. No way. They flush out the pit man, and so now Nikodos oh. got to do it. Nails the shot. Axel's gone. Just Hobbit left in the 1v2. Oh, and he's gone through the smoke. Fnatic hold on yet again. 18 first. Finally decides enough is enough, but Fasha does not. Doesn't subscribe to that idea. He wants to get stuck in. That's a lot of damage. Uh, His teammates now know. flooding into Crims. top banana, and no one knows about Crims. Oh, no one G -G. knows about Crims. He's torn through them. And Axile, one versus three, six points of health. This is a done deal. Fnatic, after all, in overtime, looking for the W, and all that's left to do is collect it. Not even close. But can they close? Axile seconds from death as soon as that fades. Crimson's got it on a plate. He will fall. All right. Six health. Surely not. The flank locks it in. He's got to go forward, but he's going into the orb. Health is not a factor. 15 seconds, so you can't mess around. He sticks it, calls it, off it. Last oh. second, 10 of them left, and he has to go for it if he wants to win this round. And now they know it's real. Now they know it's the real deal. It's, so they run it, and they run him down, gone. and Roy will find it. Fnatic in OT, Crikey. in spite of everything that Shiro just tried to accomplish, in spite of how invincible just one man was looking and all the heroics he offered up, it's not enough, and Fnatic pick up the win.